then I went, all right, man, don't just give up on this. You care. Don't try to block that because you don't want to look needy. You care. Show that you care. We formulate a text, and I go, what do you actually feel? He wound up going on a date with her the next day. He came up to me, and immediately he gave me a hug. And he's like, if it wasn't for you telling me to stay in that, I wouldn't have had that amazing experience last night. We're going to get into something today that will give you the chance to express yourself more when you're around women. And that's simply removing your fear of looking needy. This whole video is about removing your fear of looking needy. If there's one thing that a guy really, really gets attached to when he gets into this community is do I look like I'm a free, confident man or do I look needy? Continuously, I hear this from the students that I have. Continuously from my Skype clients, I hear this. And I used to think the same thing for myself and also my cameraman has said this. I've heard this so many times where I'm like, okay, I'll address it. When it comes to neediness, there needs to be a great understanding. There's a difference between the fear of being perceived as needy and being found out as needy. There's a difference between the two. One is, I don't want to look like this. I need to behave this way and act this way and look like this. The other one is, I am like this and I don't want women to find out that I am. And the moment you have these two, or you have one of these, it's gonna block your ability to express your emotions. So if I had to break down the first one, the first one that I want to break down is being perceived as needy. When you have a fear of being perceived as needy, you have just been misled. That's it. When you see a woman, and you want to speak to her, what's more important to you is being seen as confident, being seen as you have this. That's more important to you. Of course, this is important to the guy who's afraid of being found out as needy, but what's really important to the guy who's afraid of being perceived as needy is looking confident. That's what's really important to him. So, he sees a woman, and his whole thing is behaving and acting in a way. He says hello, and maybe after the hello, he stands in a way that looks aloof. He stands in a way that he feels, you know, confident guys stand in. And while this is happening, he feels in that moment that, you know what, I don't look needy. I feel like, uh, you know, I look like a confident guy and this, this, and this. And this is what's pressed up on him as well. Is that this demeanor, this way of being, is what women want. And he plays it out, and he plays it out. But what he doesn't understand is that even this stance isn't strong. It's fruitless. 
He's standing like this is because he's standing like this because this is how confident guys stand. He's standing like this because this is the way that he can look the most of something that he wants to look like in his mind, that he thinks looks confident to the woman. That's what he's most interested in. So his behaviors aren't internally based. His behaviors are based on not being perceived as something. And this is when you have a guy, you know, standing in certain ways where he's in front of the girl and maybe he's standing like this or a guy is standing in certain ways where he's like, you know, like this or the girl says something and he's, you know, looking around and he's doing this. He's doing all these things because he believes that this is the way that he can be perceived as a guy who, you know, he has choice. And what he doesn't understand is all of that is false. All of that is actually an act that is a form of disengagement. That is not him. That is something he's doing because he wants to be perceived in a certain way so he can get the woman. There's nothing wrong with standing like this. There's nothing wrong with doing anything. But his sole purpose when he's in front of the girl is to be perceived as a confident man. He doesn't want to look needy. He's afraid of looking needy. To the point where even sometimes he's in front of the girl and she goes, well, I'm in a rush. And he goes, all right, I'll see you later. And he just totally, it's like, oh, this is aloof and kind of cool guy. He's in front of the girl and he's speaking to her and he's like, so what do you do in your life? And the girl gives him some, and he's like, oh, so do you really do that? Or is that something you really, and he starts challenging her. You know what, I'll just get your number and uh, we'll meet up for a coffee, all right? He's doing all these things that looks like the confident thing and guys are following this. They're following it. They really believe this is the way. I continuously see coaches and I continuously see guys on the street where I'm like, they are not themselves. They are not expressing themselves emotionally. This thing lacks emotion. And it's simply because they're more focused on looking this way, getting her, being perceived like this through the camera, that they're blocked emotionally. When you want to be perceived as something, you can't feel. It blocks that. It's fear in the way. You want to interact with the woman. You want to be authentic, as you, as, as you say, or as the coaches say. They want to be authentic, but they can't do it simply because they're more fixated on getting the woman than they are expressing themselves, than they are expressing their emotion. And it's simply because there's so much around looking like a certain way so that you don't be perceived as needy. Because this needy thing has been going around so strongly that guys are afraid to express their emotions, which I'm going to talk about after I break down being found out as needy. Do you look confident? or do you look like yourself? This is something now to look at. Am I more focused on looking like this, being perceived like this, sitting in a way, acting in a way, looking in a way, like the cool, confident alpha guy, or am I more focused on naturally expressing myself to the woman? When you let go of this fear of being perceived as needy, you'll start to notice that you're more engaged. You're more aware. Your aloofness turns into freedom. Your heart is present with her. 
You can feel what she's coming from moment to moment. You're not just trying to get. You're there and also receiving the woman. When you're focused on looking like this, when you're focused on not looking like a needy person, you block yourself totally. I was with a guy in Germany, and as I'm with him, I'm like, you have a strong mental structure around what you believe women like. It's very strong. Because as I'm in this space, I can feel that he's there with me, but I can also feel that there's nothing coming from him. There's no energy radiating from his body. But he's there with me. And it's simply because he's blocked himself. And he's great. He has women in his life. He's had sex with many women. But he's blocked. Being perceived as needy is a fear that if you let go of, you'll start to feel the woman more. You'll start to feel the subtleties of what's happening more. You'll start to feel the interaction more. And if we had to talk about the other side, being found out as needy. When you fear being found out as needy, there needs to be something that has to be looked at honestly. And that is, I am needy. Because you fear being found out. <clears throat> so that means that eventually you'll be found out. You need the woman to re reinforce something inside of yourself. Eventually, you'll be found out. When you fear being found out as needy, which means that if you feel like I was needy once and I don't want to be needy again, and you're going up to women from the place of, you know what, I'm just going to go out there and approach a lot of girls or I'm going to go out there and fuck a lot of girls so I can just stop being needy, you will be eventually be found out as needy because that's not how you actually get rid of neediness. You don't get rid of neediness by going out there and having sex with many women. You don't get rid of neediness by going out there and speaking to a lot of women. You get rid of neediness in a much different way. And to give you the first step to this, the first step of getting rid, rid of feeling like I'm a needy person or I've been needy in the past and I don't want to feel it again, is to say, I am needy. That's the first way to get over this. The thing that you don't want to say is, I am needy. Because you found out that neediness is something that is repulsive to women. Neediness is something that women don't want. They want somebody who's confident. They want somebody who has abundance who don't want them. Because of all that, that's made you afraid to say, I am needy. And I tell you this, when you're afraid to say that, you will be found out at some point. Or you'll do what some guys do. They're afraid of being seen as needy, so what they'll do is, when they feel that things are becoming too emotional with the girl, they run away. I have a friend of mine right now, and a thing that he was struggling with was, when I feel like me and the girl is kind of having something that's chaotic, 
and I feel like my emotions are getting involved, I back off. And I say, you back off simply because you always say, yeah, man, but I don't want to look needy. That's why you back off. You are needy. That's why you back off. And until he's able to say, I am a needy person, he will never, ever be able to have the interactions that he wants to have with women. He'll never be able to have the closeness that he wants to have. Because to really resolve that really truly being needy for someone or really needing someone, to really resolve that is to first say that you are, so then you can see choices. The man who's afraid to say, I am, is also blocking himself from seeing the choice of coming out of that place. Because he's so like, okay, I don't want, I don't want to be seen as this, and he's always looking, but he doesn't understand that this is staying here. It's not going to leave. It is staying in place. Even if he goes, you know what? I don't want to look neat. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do a lot of approaches. It's still here. Like this. So even as he goes up to a woman, it'll still stay there. And he's wondering, like, why is it that I'm still doing all of these approaches and I'm having all these interactions, but it is still there? Why can't I get rid of this? It's simply because he's afraid of doing this. That's the only reason. The moment he says, okay, I am that, he can now find out that he's not that. That's why that's happening. The first level to this neediness, feeling like I actually am, is to say, I actually am. Because the moment that you do, you can now go, but what else? is there. You can now see choice. You can't see choice when you're afraid of looking. And even the guy who doesn't look and goes out there and have all these women, at some point the woman will find out you're not really abundant. You're not really as free as I thought. You're actually very insecure. You actually try to control me. All the, you actually are very jealous. All these things that stems from neediness. It blocks your ability to feel. Because you don't want to. Because the moment you say, I'm needy, you're going to start to feel all the things that come with that. All the things that that mean to you. All the things you try to look away from, you're gonna to start to feel it in that one moment. You say, I am. And you just settle, you're gonna be like, fuck, I just really don't wanna feel this because I know this is like not attractive. I know this is not the thing women want. But you must feel it though. The guy that was on Skype with me, my client, what did I have to tell him? You're going to block many different things. You are. You're not really going to experience love. You can't really experience the woman in a way you want to. I want you to be needy. I do. I want you to be needy so you can know what non-neediness is. But the only way you're going to ever get to non-neediness is that you have to walk through your neediness. But why do you feel you're actually needy for the woman? What do you actually feel you need from her? In actuality, just be as truthful as you can. What do you really feel like you do? Then he tells me. And then as I give him the chance to go forward by giving him a new insight about it, he starts to see like, fuck. This is why I haven't been able to. I can't be close to somebody because I am just always wanting to look like the guy who's not. But I am. But now that I know that I am, I can also get out of this place. So what do I leave you with? I leave you with a few stories and a great insight. Story number one. 
I remember the first beautiful woman that I got into my life. In our relationship that we had, <laughs> I wanted her so much, really. I wanted her so much. She was so physically attractive and all the guys in the school wanted her. And when I got her, I just felt like I finally got somebody that, I mean, I really want, like really, really want. And as a guy, when you finally get a girl who's like physically beautiful and everybody wants her, or you get a girl who's so beautiful to you, when you first finally get one, you're going to feel like you're on top of the world because there's a certain worthiness that comes over you in a way. Because you feel like now that I got the beautiful girl, I'm worthy. You start to really feel that. You start to feel this completeness or this sense of untouchable. Because you got the girl that you know everybody wants. Then as we're together, everything starts to show for me. She starts to see that I'm someone who is willing to allow her to control me. She starts to see that I'm not as rough and tough as I try to make myself look. She starts to see that I wasn't who I put myself out to be. But still to the world though, I was that. But to her, I wasn't that. Which means, in the world, I was constantly trying to put it on, but she had already saw it, so I couldn't put it on with her. She knew that I had weaknesses in me that the world didn't know. Because I was still putting it on in the world, but when I would go back to her, she would see the truth. I was afraid of losing her. Truthfully, I was afraid of losing this woman. Because I finally got the girl who was just like, okay, I finally got a girl that I really, 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 really fucking wanted. I like really wanted. And I'm afraid of losing her. That's the thing that I started to see. Because let's say maybe she would be interacting with some guy in school or maybe she would say something about some, some guy or some rapper or some. <clears throat> and I feel like there's a part of me that's afraid of losing her. But what was I really afraid of? I was afraid, when I really, really looked at it, I was really afraid of losing the worthiness that this woman gave me. She gave me a strong sense of worthiness because if there's something that a beautiful woman can do for a man who's in a place of, I'm not appreciated or I feel like I really, really want somebody that, that's beautiful and a beautiful woman, she can give him a sense of worth. She can. Of course it's false, but he will feel a sense of worth now that he got her. And she gave me that. And maybe much like you. Maybe you met some woman in your life and she was just like so beautiful to you and she gave you a sense of worth, but the moment that she walked away, you felt like a part of you left as well. You felt like you wasn't as worthy as more. You felt like things started to fall apart internally. And you're right. Things started to fall apart as much as it fell apart for me. I was actually needy. I was. And I tell you that story because when you're actually needy, you will be found out. You will. When you're actually needy, you will find out. You will be found out. But you, got, you have the chance, though, before you even go into that fear of being, being found out as needy, to say to yourself, I am, and now I want to change this. I'll bring you to the second story. This was a student, not me, this is a student. Oh, this lovely student, he went on a date with this girl and everything went so well. Then, she knew that he was leaving town and going back to America, she knew that. They had this date, they made out, they were in the, the castle in Budapest, they had this wonderful night, 
Then she sent him a message that said, hey, it was nice uh, having that time with you last night, but I don't think I'm gonna meet up with you again. Enjoy your time in Budapest. Now, a guy can say, all right, well, you know, I don't wanna look needy, so yeah, that was a good time. I could just go meet another woman, right? This student was like, I don't know what I should do, you know, he's, I can tell that he's feeling like, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm out here, you know, I'm just meeting other girls. I'm like, no, don't do that. Don't. You like this woman. Do not do that. I had to bring him back to reality because sometimes when you get into this community, you lose sight of reality. You lose sight that you're in this because you want to connect and have sex with women. Yes, you do. You, but you want to connect, truly. Not through the things you say, but energetically you want to connect. And if you don't, that's just you. But if you're really in this and you really want this area of life to take a turn in a healthy way, you're in this because you truly want to connect. So I said to him, do you like this woman? He's like, of course I do. You know, I was with her and I'm hanging out with her and I really start to see him come out then. Then I went, all right, man, don't just give up on this. Don't. Love trumps all. Don't just give up on this. You care. Don't try to block that because you don't want to look needy. You care. Show that you care. But I'll help you with this, all right? So we formulate a text and I go, what do you actually feel? And he starts telling me and then I formulate it in a way where she's able to receive it, but at the same time, she does, she's not pressured into coming. Then she says to him, when are you leaving? She went from, I don't want to see you again, to when are you leaving? All it took was him showing that I care. That's all it took. Fuck non-neediness. Really. This blocks your ability to really express yourself to the woman. Ability to really feel the emotion that you feel in relation to the woman. It blocks it. He wound up going on a date with her because we're headed off to Serbia the next day. Uh, yeah, the next day. He came up to me and immediately he gave me a hug. And he's like, if it wasn't for you telling me to stay in that, I wouldn't have had that amazing experience last night. That was two years ago. Fast forward to today, I saw him in Budapest and he's still talking to that same woman. She's in this life now. Because he made the choice to show her, she's now in this life. Imagine if he stayed with, I don't wanna look needy, he wouldn't be able to have this woman in this life. She knows that he sleeps with other women. She knows this. But she also knows that he cares. He knows, she knows that when she's with him, she's getting the man who cares about being with her. She knows that she's also getting a man who's free and she respects that. She's free in her life. They part ways, he goes to America. They talk on Skype because he was telling me about it. They still have this thing going on. But it was that one moment that changed the two years time. Do you see the difference? It was the one moment that changed two years time. Yes, right now he's still Meeting other women, he even has a rotation of women that he's seen. But that's the girl that he's the closest to right now. So I tell you, are you more interested in expressing yourself naturally? Expressing the naturalness of what wants to come through you. Your emotions is natural. Expressing that to the woman. Showing that you care. Of course, never getting rid of these elements of fun and the ability to take on an adventure. Of course, never getting rid of the freedom part. But are you willing to express yourself emotionally? I don't want to look needy. The moment you say that, I don't want to be perceived as needy. In the exact moment, you block yourself emotionally. So, now you know the difference. Now you know what it is to be afraid of being perceived as a needy, 
and also being found out as needy. You can make the choice to naturally express yourself, to be emotionally involved. I thank you for tuning in with me today and giving yourself a greater understanding of neediness. My London seminar is coming up and I still have some spots left. So if you feel like, you know what, I wanna attend, there's guys continuously filling the spots over the days, but I still have some left. Below in the description box, there's a link. You can go there and you'll be able to find out more about it. Only 20 guys are available, so please understand. Once it gets there, that you won't be able to sign up. But right now, there's still spots. I have a free Meet the Bedroom series. Everything from hello to let's go upstairs. Also beneath in the description box, underneath the Ber not Berlin, the, the London seminar tickets. Subscribe, 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 and share this with anybody who you feel needs to understand their own neediness. If you feel like you want to contact me about one-on-one -on -one coaching, please, I'll put it down in the description box. You can copy and paste. Tony Solo at theessenceofmen.com. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll talk to you tomorrow.